We are following some developing news out of Jordan. Two Americans have been gunned down at a police training center in Amman. There are others who have been injured, but let's get straight to Elizabeth Palmer, who's been tracking the story from London. Elizabeth, what's the latest on this one? Well, the shooting happened just a few hours ago, and so details are still coming in. Several sources confirmed that it was a Jordanian police captain who shot and killed two Americans and a South African at a police training center in Mawaka, which is a town about 50 miles outside the capital of Jordan, Amman. One other American and four Jordanians were wounded, uh, apparently in the facility's cafeteria, which happened uh, while the men were having lunch. The Americans, who were civilian contractors, are reported to who have been trainers at the facility. A uh, Jordanian government spokesman said the shooter uh, was described as a senior member of that same training team and he was subsequently uh, killed. We've just heard that U.S. Uh, officials say the attacker was a disgruntled employee who'd recently been fired. Liz, why was the U.S. doing police training in Jordan? This goes back to the invasion of Iraq in the early 2000s. At the time, there was a, a huge effort to remodel uh, completely the Iraqi police and security forces. And it, uh, Jordan, a neighboring country, very stable, a great ally of the United States, was considered to be the best place to set up what became an enormous police academy. Uh, Iraqi police officers are still being trained there, as are Palestinians. And uh, the contract for training uh, has always been run by a, a civilian U.S. company, uh, and apparently these men were employees of that company. Elizabeth Palmer reporting for us. Liz, thank you.